Hello and welcome back to the Peacecraft server. I have been doing some stuff here since the last episode and I thought perhaps I should just show you around a little bit. So let's get back into the player mode. Now this is my quarry that you have seen and I have some more ores in here since last time I have been let's close that so nobody accidentally comes in I have been uh, digging down very far down as you can see um, all the way down to the bedrock and um, I have been digging a tunnel uh, only one tunnel this far down here. Uh, okay, here by the way is to a mine shaft. This is to the same mine shaft. Uh, but uh, all the way down here, let's see. Let's not jump or fall or anything because that would be not so good. Uh, that, uh, by the way, uh, this is the bottom. Uh, so I built this one. Um, this is west I have not gone there this is south I have not gone there this is east and I have gone over here as you can see I have lights up in the ceiling for every fourth block there is a light source so and for every 16th uh, torch there is one button uh, Oh, let's look. Okay, this was a little bit of lava. Okay, so I have reached three buttons and the fourth button I have changed to a stone button. So I uh, have four times 16 torches, which should amount up to 64. If you times that, time that with four, because it's four for each, then we should get up to 256, which is a quarter of a kilometer approximately. So uh, <laughs> I have dug one quarter of the way uh, of how long this is going to be, because this is going to be a rail inside of it. <clears throat> it's going to be a kilometer long and I am going to ride a minecart on it someday not today though because it's a long long way <laughs> off <laughs> so <clears throat> I have gathered some resources oops while I'm doing that yeah also, I have been experimenting a little bit about the sound because I have not been happy with the sound of my recordings and unfortunately it seems that what I have to do is to include one extra step in me editing my videos by using Audacity in order to take um, the sound from all my clips and to edit them there. In addition, I have increased the input uh, volume in my recording software of uh, my microphone. Uh, I have not increased the gain on my microphone because if I do that, I am afraid I will pick up all kinds of extra noise. And uh, yeah, because there, uh, I, I mean, I am living in a city. There are people living above me and people living below me. I live in an apartment here. So um, yeah, uh, it's, oops, that's a creeper over there. Let's not disturb him. Let's just go this way instead. Yeah, um, Animal Island, uh, I am using this as a temporary tree farm, as you can see. Uh, also, uh, I have moved a couple of cows over um, from that place, uh, from the coast over there. Uh, and I have also moved some sheep over from Animal Island and over there. So now I am in the process of having both cows and sheep over there. Um, this is the method which I used to transport the animals. A very, 
very temporary uh, bridge, I might add. Uh, made out of slabs, <clears throat> cobble slabs. And as you can see, uh, there have been happening things here as well. That building was not there last time. I don't remember if the water fountain was here. Probably it was. Somebody said that boats uh, didn't break on soul sand. So I replaced my pier with soul sand. Well, uh, the breaking ratio of boats, um, it has gone down from 100% when it was all wood to about 85 to 90% with soul sand. That's not good enough. So I think it is my design there is something wrong with and not uh, the planks. Uh, for aesthetic reasons I am going to replace the soul sand with planks and with the logs again because it doesn't look good at all. And instead I'm going to fill this up with boats and uh, place uh, a sign uh, saying that uh, please take a boat. <laughs> Basically. <clears throat> I also got a gift from the Guardian King. Uh, some uh, wart, another wart, uh, in addition to the soul sand. So I built this little room down below here. As you can see, because this uh, I, uh, land of mine is a very small place. I didn't really have room for this above ground, so I built it below. And this one, yes, you guessed it um, right, it's my enchanting room. It is also going to double as the brewing room, because up here I'm going to have brewing stands. Uh, I did have an anvil here, but it broke. Um, I have some lapis and books to do enchanting. I have begun collecting some stuff that I probably need in brewing. So yes, that's basically it. Um, and uh, yeah, what was I thinking of now? Yeah, sound. Yes, correct. And. I am also, of course, going to show you over here before I end this segment of the episode. Let's not swim all the way underwater. Uh, yeah, as you can see over here, these are my cows, and over here are the sheep. I have uh, the, the sheep is not. A meat farm really it's more like a wool farm so let's see yeah make sure there are no creepers around <laughs> they have a tendency to ruin my day completely um, I have died so many times in this world so as you can see I have put up signs this is light gray uh, this is not supposed to be uh, yellow simply because I already have yellow here oh three okay I really would like to have at least four of each so if you can make a baby please then I will have four yellows and uh, what kind of colors you are going to be eventually I don't know but let's make another baby here yeah so I have three of you um, what I miss is brown because I don't have cocoa pods. I also actually miss um, all green stuff because I don't have cactus. So I think... Um, oh, hello. So I miss uh, um, uh, some colors. I don't have cyan at the moment, uh, don't I think. And yeah. Oh, yeah, great. I have also increased... Yeah, I took that. So, yeah, this has been um, the wool farm and the meat farm over there. Um, and right now I am thinking about gathering up some resources and getting back to spawn because I would like to... Uh, 
finish up a little bit uh, the restaurant. Uh, it's not going to be opened in this episode um, next weekend, a uh, real life weekend that is. Uh, I am going to open my restaurant, uh, my seafood restaurant over there. Um, yes, like this. And uh, now we are. <laughs> I <laughs> have to cut down that one every time I go past here. Um, <clears throat> so now I have some animals over here. Pigs. Uh, I may also want to have pigs and chicken and rabbits over there. Uh, because Animal Island, this is going to be a free haven for animals. I'm not going to use this as a place where I'm going to breed and kill them. Um, but I may have to cut down on the number of some of the animals here. I'm going to bring them over there to have my farms and stuff over there. Um, but yeah, right now I'm going to cut down some more trees because I need wood. And I'm going to gather up some resources and I'm going back towards spawn in order to start uh, building a little bit more on my restaurant. So yes, uh, this has been a little tour of what has been happening uh, with me on the Peacecraft server since the last time I recorded. I'm going to take down this, but not after I have finished moving everything. And I am going to do something about that quarry over there. I am not happy with uh, how it is at the moment above ground. Because in the end, that is going to be a subway hub. Uh, I am going to go east, west, north, south, uh, at least a kilometer in each direction, I reckon. Unless um, I uh, meet someone else's tunnels down there, in which case I will have to go around or something or stop early or I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, so I will bring you guys back in once I am at my restaurant and I am ready to start building a little bit on that one. So, I see you in a very short little bit time. Hello again. I just wanted to bring you in. A very, very special occasion is about to happen. If you take a look at my experience bar, I am approximately only half a tick away from level 30. That is going to be the very first time <laughs> on this Peacecraft server that I reach level 30 and I have access to an enchanting table. So. Let's go. I hope I only need one more catch, but maybe I need two, I don't know. We will just have to see, and then I am going to go craft myself a diamond pickaxe and enchant it that I already know I am going to get silk touch on that one. Oh yeah, at least that's what the enchantment table showed when I tried to put... Oh! Oh! And level 30! And a name tag! Could it have been better? I think not. Okay, let's put away some stuff. Let's get the name tag up there. Let's put the bone in here. Actually, just let the fishing rod. <laughs> I have four plus five. That's five uses left on that one. Because zero is also a use. Okay. I know, like that. And I need those three. I am going to make that immediately, like that. And I'm going to put away the fish. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put away anything. I am going to grab myself 
Yeah, some of those and some of those at the same time. And now... Look at that. My very first enchant on this enchanting table. I am going to get a silk touch diamond pickaxe. Go! Did I get something extra? I got efficiency for silk touch. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, right. What can I get on books, by the way? Uh, I need level 30 to get that. I can get power 2 and I can get on breaking 1 and stuff. I already have a power 4 bow, so I'm not really interested in anything of that. <laughs> yes, my silk touch. Okay, well, let's put those back up there. Let's put the books back up there. Actually, what would I get if I tried uh, that? <clears throat> oh, that's interesting if I am to go to the down into the nether or something. Fire protection. Um, that is also interesting if I am to fight skeletons. Uh, well, for now, at least I have this. Oh, I should name it. I should name it. What should be the name of something amazing like this? Huh, silk touch. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what is the name of a silk touch? Um. No, not quick. Something that has to do with blocks. For instance, emeralds, redstone, coal. Um, okay. Uh, I don't. I don't really. <laughs> I. I am stuck for ideas. You know. I am stuck for ideas what to call this right now. Um, I could actually use it to get... Uh, yeah... The blocker. That's the blocker. It gets blocks. Right. So, you have just seen me get the blocker. One more thing though, uh, this anvil. Uh, I have had an anvil here before, but it broke very quickly. I don't know if that was a bug or whether or not the anvils actually break very, very fast in Minecraft 1.8.8. I don't really know. So yeah, at least now I have the blocker and I am going to use it um, because I am going down mining again uh, not now but a little bit later of course so um, when I do that I will use that one to get redstone blocks if I get into emeralds then I will get emerald blocks I am going to take diamond blocks oh Right, that could be a good name for it, couldn't it? Uh, well, right now I am set. I am going to pick up my stuff and I am going to take a trip to spawn to finish my restaurant. I just did not want that historic moment of me for the very first time reaching level 30 on the Peacecraft server to go unnoticed and unrecorded. So I brought you all back in and now I have caught it on camera and I am going to edit it into the video. So yeah, 
that's a historic moment and my very first enchant uh, level 30 enchant my very first enchant ever actually because um, the other enchant I have on my obsidian diamond pickaxe that was something that I got from a book that I fished so I only put it in the anvil and made it and I'm going to show you that one efficiency 4 and breaking 3 was a book that I fished up with my fishing rod and I made the obsidian order out of that one so now I have the obsidian order and I have the blocker and mad sniper just joined hello sniper yeah he's an American so he's probably oh portal to desert <laughs> somebody has made a portal to desert or making well they are communicating uh, I hope that I can find that portal I am actually going to check out the nether portal at spawn uh, my uh, next door neighbor uh, the guardian king he does have another portal um, now let me see where is he located he's either over there or he is over there I simply can't remember if he's north or south of me <laughs> I know it sounds foolish but uh, uh, I didn't pay that much attention I think it is over there but I'll figure it out I will get there I will take that one to spawn and actually yeah I am going to see you once I am at spawn because that travel is going to take a long time and uh, I am not going to record that. So I'll see you a little bit later today. Bye! Hello, welcome back. I am about to finish my restaurant and what do I see <laughs> a spider with red bubbles well I don't know what red bubbles means but we are about to find out if he is dangerous at least well not so much okay uh, maybe I should try oops <laughs> Look at this. Um, yeah, uh, let's show off the building as it stands. This is the present situation. I am not completely finished with the entrance area. The roofing is finished despite uh, looking not finished. The only thing I need is along the rim here to put some uh, stone slabs to make it look a little better and then I'm going to build up a little bit higher here to have uh, room for some um, yeah, banners actually so I can write out that this is a seafood restaurant and uh, the big opening is not going to be until next weekend that is the coming one uh, because I haven't finished it all yet but here we are the entrance area this is the bathroom with painting of course the wardrobe also with the painting and uh, the house rules it is free to eat but if you take away something uh, I require a small donation so here are the seats and uh, tables uh, on this side I have put uh, the torches below and put carpets on top since I don't have enough carpets on me I haven't done that on this side so that remains this area is basically finished uh, uh, here you, I'm going to put some food items I have three 
three meals, salmon delight, cod and carrot, and fish and chips, and they are going to be down in the chests below. This is the salmon delight chest, this is the cod and carrot chest, and this is the fish and chips chest. All of them are empty at the moment. This is for donations, in case anyone wants to make any. A uh, nice picture of a dangerous enemy there. And yeah, this is how it looks from the front. And this is how it looks when you look up into the roofing. I am not going to cover this up with a roof on top. I am going to see straight through here so that some light shines through. And I am not going to make it all still water either because it's a soothing swoosh of water up there. A uh, clock on the wall of course. Uh, yes, that's basically how far I have come until now. Um, it was a little bit premature to show you this because uh, I have not finished with everything <laughs> yet. Um, basically, I am going to need to get some of those cooked up uh, because I need some of those slabs uh, to put on top of the roof here. And I need to get fishing so that I can get some food. <laughs> <laughs> to the restaurant. Uh, I need salmons, I need cods, and I need potatoes that I can make into potato chips. I need carrots together with the cod and salmon delight. I'm not so sure if I'm going to add anything except the cooked salmon, but we'll see. I was wondering about some sushi dish, but I don't really think it's going to be that popular with that uh, weird uh, fish that you cannot cook only yielding what half a chunk on the stomach bar or something uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, I need some more item frames on that wall obviously. Um, yeah and these are looking nice I think. Yeah so this is the design. Uh, this is my restaurant. Here I can stand and now and it's uh, you take yourselves from uh, the chests below so there doesn't really need to be anyone here to sell stuff in the back here in the kitchen. This is the kitchen area. I am going to clean this up of course because I'm going to have some more chests and I am probably yeah this anvil looks a little bit broken. So yeah, the only thing that remains is on the roof, on the front area, and I need to get enough wool that I can uh, make some banners. Yeah, and that's it. And that is what uh, you are going to see uh, next weekend, when this is all said and done and finished. Uh, so yeah, I think I am going to make it an episode now. So... Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. Here we are. This is like signing off from the Peacecraft server. I hope this has been a little shorter episode uh, than uh, last time. At least uh, I am trying to not get them to be so long. Uh, I am also trying to uh, fill them with the things that are a little bit interesting. At least I hope they are. Uh, so uh, I will see you next weekend when this restaurant is up and running and perhaps we will meet some people at the grand opening. I hope so. For now, this has been Jotlike, signing off the Peacecraft server. Good day to you folks. Thank you.